A recovery after the storm. The snow has stopped falling, but the blizzard is still causing major travel troubles. At TF Green, it's a mix of flights that are canceled, delayed, and on time. Similar scene for most of the airports along the East Coast. From the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, I went news reporter Stephen Schuler is in Warwick. After winter weather walloped cities up and down the East Coast, airlines are still trying to catch up to get passengers to their final destination. One day after a major winter storm halted air traffic along the East Coast, long lines extend from TF Green's ticket counters as travelers wait to find a flight out. The people in line, I mean, some of them were like, just get me anywhere, get me to any city, which I said too. I said, get me to Nashville, get me to Atlanta. I just need to get back to Knoxville. I can rent a car at some point, and, but they can't even do that. Michelle Silva is a TV anchor at CBS in Knoxville, Tennessee. She's been stranded since 2 o'clock Sunday trying to get a ticket home. Tried calling uh, Expedia. I was talking to people in other countries. Continental wasn't taking any calls, and it's just so frustrating. It's very frustrating when you can't th get through to anybody. A handful of flights remain canceled and even more delayed at Green today as airlines struggle to get planes here from other airports. While some enjoyed spending the holidays with family, others are just waiting to be home sweet home. I am dying to get home. Unfortunately, it's for work, but that's the only reason I have a lot of family here. I'm going to call the boss and let him know it'll be one more day, and um, hopefully we'll make it back safe and sound. And for some of those passengers who managed to make it back over the last couple of days, they're still dealing with the impact of the storm. That's because many cars in the TF Green parking lot are still buried in nearly a foot of snow. In Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.